Good morning, Jam Jams. I'm Justin. And I'm Christina. We have a great show for you today. You get to see what's going on in our classrooms. You get a sweet report on lollipops. And you get to hear about a special event coming up. All this and more on JMA, JMA News. News. This week is Red Ribbon Week, and the door decorating contest has been in full swing. Each first period class has been decorating their door for the contest. From what we can see, students are doing a great job using slogans, colorful pictures, and wonderful art designs. It's going to be difficult to choose just one winner. It sure is. So good luck to all of you participating in the contest. We will announce the winners on tomorrow's show. Yesterday, we signed the I Pledge to be Drug Free banner in the lunchroom. If by chance you were absent yesterday, it's not too late to sign the banner to be drug free. On Monday, students in drama class shared quotes and slogans about being drug free. Here are a few examples. There's no excuse for drug abuse. Hugs, not drugs. Wasted? So is your life. A friend indeed won't make you smoke that weed. Too smart to start. Don't let drugs trick you, they're not a treat. Roses are red, violets blue. I hate drugs, how about you? Drugs aren't cool, they make you look like a fool. Drugs, a grave mistake. Those quotes really did inspire me. They inspired me too, Justin. Tomorrow we can wear our red shirts to celebrate our pledges and complete our Red Ribbon Week. I already have mine picked out. <laughs> now it's time for the question of the day. Which date held the first Red Ribbon Week? Is it A, California? B, New York? C, Colorado? Or D, Utah? And the answer is A, California. California launched their first Red Ribbon Week in 1985. We'll be back after these messages. Congratulations to our NJHS officers, President Neil Pagelinen, Vice President Nathan Whitney, Secretary Donia Skipper, and Treasurer Jordan Mistretta. Congratulations to our officers. They say it makes you cool. They say it makes you popular. But what they don't tell you is that drugs not only ruin you, they ruin your friendship, your grades, and your life. Let the drugs go down the drain, not your life. When you enter the library, don't forget to sign in. With many good books to choose from, you're sure to find one that you like. There are hundreds of books of all genres, ranging from science fiction to mystery. You can even use the computer to search for books you can't find on the shelves. The library is a great place to read and also a great place to study, so don't forget to visit the Jude Academy Library. The word of the week is repulsive, which means to be disgusted. The smell of the garbage was repulsive to Lindsay and Juliana. We have a lot of other things happening here at Jewett this week. Have you ordered your yearbook? Yearbooks are on sale starting at $40. Be sure to order yours on the Balfour.com website. Pizza will be sold today at 3 o'clock on the blacktop by the PE locker rooms. Pizza is $2 a slice and a soda is $1. Today's picture retakes bring a smile along with your money. On Friday, our Hispanic Heritage Expo will be held in the gym. The Spanish teachers did a wonderful job organizing this event. Hey Justin, I'm getting ready for Halloween on Saturday. I'm going to pass out lollipops and Tootsie Pops. What's your favorite flavor? Well, blue raspberry, of course. Isabella has a sweet report on just this very thing. Blow Pops, Tootsie Pops, Dum Dums. Wow, they're all so good, I can't even decide. One of mine and America's most favorite sweet treats would have to be none other than the good old lollipop. I'm Isabella, and I'm here to tell you about one of the most classic candies today. No one really knows when the first lollipop was ever made. However, we do have some idea of when it started. Even the ancient Chinese, Arabs, and Egyptians were tracked eating some type of lollipop. Lollipops are so loved that they even have their own national holiday. National Lollipop Day is every year on July 20th. Lollipops are made out of corn syrup, water, and with the flavor. Pretty simple, right? They also come in many different flavors. First, of course, you have your basics like grape, cherry, and orange. They also have some cool flavors like banana split, strawberry shortcake, and even bacon. My favorite flavor, of course, is cherry. Let's go ask some students and see what their favorite flavor is. I like lemon lime because it reminds me of summertime. I like blue raspberry because it's blue and blue is my favorite color. Mine is lemon lime because it's two flavors in one. I like cotton candy because it reminds me of my dad. Root beer is my favorite flavor because it reminds me of root beer floats. 
I like cream soda because it tastes like coconut. Blue raspberry is my favorite because I love eating raspberries. Isn't it great that lollipops come in so many different flavors? A cool fact that I bet you didn't know was that the largest lollipop was made over 15 feet tall, it was cherry flavored, which you already know is my favorite, and was made on June 25th, 2002. Also, did you know that cotton candy is the most popular flavor? I've never tasted it, but I want to try it. Lollipops are great for any occasion. Birthdays, Valentine's Day, any day, lollipops are the best. And whether you prefer Tootsie Pops, Blow Pops, or even Dum Dums, you're still able to taste the sweet deliciousness that all lollipops can offer. And if you still don't agree with me, go taste one for yourself. Or better yet, go eat them right now. I'm sure you'll love them. Christina, I think you'll make your trick-or-treaters happy with these Tootsie Pops and lollipops. Aw, oh, thanks, Jess. That's so nice for you to say. Speaking of nice things, we have some great clubs you can participate in. Today, the chess club members will meet in the cafeteria. Next Tuesday, the 6th grade art club students will meet in Mrs. Bonnady's room. Yesterday, the teachers and students competed in a game of mat ball during 6th, 7th, and 8th period. The students came out and cheered on both teams as they battled to be the champions. We're learning a lot here in our classes at Jewett Academy. Let's take a look at some of the great things happening in our classes in a segment called Subject by Subject. Mrs. Bonnady's 7th graders are drawing a one-point perspective drawing. They are going to be using watercolored pencils to create a palette for their drawings. Then, they will use brushes and water to make paint to complete their artwork. If you're interested in seeing them, they'll be put up for our school art show on November 17th. Miss Max First Period is working on their end-of-unit projects. They're using one out of the five stories that they have read so far to create one of the following. A brochure, comic strip, wanted poster, or a book jacket. They will be graded on how their project looks. Coach Fisher's girls were playing a little game of math ball. This game is a lot like kickball. They were getting a bit of practice before the math ball tournament. Well, that's all we have for you today. Remember our slogan, drug free is the way to be. Stay focused on your work. And do your very best. See, See you around, around campus. campus.